Hey y'all, welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. This is Catherine. Today we're gonna learn Roll in My Sweet Baby's Arms, a bluegrass standard. Let's do it. Ukulele Wine Time. In this video, I'm gonna show you the chords needed, outline the different sections of the songs. We'll line up the chords with the lyrics nice and slow for the verse and the chorus. We'll do a little bit of counting so you feel super confident. We'll talk starting pitch so you know where your vocal note starts if you're singing and playing. We'll do a wine break because of course this is ukulele wine time. And then we'll do a full run through of the whole song at the end so you can try out your moves. We'll also talk different strumming patterns so you can decide which one to use that feels best for you at this point in time. Roll in My Sweet Baby's Arms is a great bluegrass standard. So it's a traditional song, meaning there's not really a, an author that is um, credited for this song, but a lot of different people cover it. Notably, um, Flat and Scruggs, that's a great version to check out. Um, Ricky Skaggs has an awesome version. And then probably my favorite recorded version of this is um, Chris Thiele and Michael Daves. So if you haven't checked that out, give that a listen. It's a good idea to listen to all these different versions as you're learning a new song to get inspired, to see how other artists um, take on a new song. By the way, this is something my patrons over on Patreon voted for. Um, I have them vote for upcoming song tutorials that I make for you here on YouTube, and then also our monthly song that we do together in Ukulele Wine Club, where we sip some wine, always optional, but we sip some wine together and we learn a song live. You get a PDF chart and lyrics, and we do a whole lesson on it. The last one we did was Girl from Ipanema, and that was a lot of fun. We did a bossa nova lesson. We checked out the really beautiful and kind of unique ukulele chords for that. Um, and the next one they just voted on, so I will announce that soon. So if you wanna, if you're interested or wanna learn more, check out the link below. Couple of important pieces of information before we dive in, and that is the uh, key signature time signature and the form of the song. So our key signature, we're gonna check this out in the key of C today. So nice and easy key for the ukulele. Time signature, we are in four, four. That means we're counting four beats to a measure. Our heartbeat of the song is in four. We'll look at that a little more in, uh, while we're counting. And then the form of the song, it's just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, the whole way through. And spoiler alert, the chords are actually exactly the same for the verse and the chorus. So once you learn one section, you know the entire song. You'll just need three chords to play this song. Those three chords are C, F, and G7. You can also substitute uh, just a normal G major chord for G7 if you feel more comfortable with that. By the way, if you need an overview of how to play these three chords, check out the timestamps below. I have the overview at the end of this video. With that, let's jump into the verse chord. So we've got three C chords in a row and then a G7. So that's the first half of our um, chord progression. So we've got, um, let's start lining that up slowly with our lyrics. So we're gonna look at the verse lyrics first and we line up a C chord with the word eight. I ain't gonna work on the railroad. Railroad, you stay on C. You're just on C this whole time. I ain't gonna work on the farm. Okay, so we hang out on C, the first half, until we reach the word farm, and we switch to our G7. Let's keep going. Now, the last half of this, we have C, F, G7, back to C. I'm gonna lay around the shack. So on the word lay, we play our C chord. Till the mail train comes back. It's not exactly on mail train, but the F is near there. Mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. So on the word roll, we have a G7. And then on the word arms, to finish it out, we're back on C. Let's put that together nice and slow. Let's try it. One, two, three. I ain't gonna work on the railroad. I ain't gonna work on the farm. Gonna lay around the shack. 
shack till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. Now that we've gone through and lined up the lyrics with the chords, let's actually count this. Um, it's really going to help solidify everything, put it all together. So um, I'm going to put this down below and we're going to count one, two, three, four. And you'll see the letter name of the chord. So that's our one that always lands on beat one for this song. And then followed by slash marks. And those are the beats. So it'll be like C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Okay. And so I'll put that below. Let's try it together. And I invite you to count along with me in one, two, three, four as well. It's super, super helpful. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G7. Two, three, four. C, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. G7. Two. Two. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Great. So we just went twice through the whole chord progression and that is literally the whole entire song. It's the verse, it's the chorus, it's any instrumental interlude you would like to do. It could be your intro to the song. So that's it. Let's put it together with the chorus lyrics so we can hear what that sounds like. So same chord progression as I just mentioned. Uh, we've got a C, sorry with our C chord. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. So on roll in arms and again, roll in my sweet baby's arms. So on the second arms, you switch your G7. Gonna lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. And now those lyrics are the same second half as our first verse, so we're familiar with where those line up. Um, let's try once through the chorus together. And I'm just doing a simple downstroke with my thumb. We'll get to more strumming in a second. Here we go. One, two, chorus, go. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Gonna lay around the shack. Till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. Let's explore a couple different strumming pattern options. So to start out, especially if you're singing and playing at the same time, I recommend just doing the simple downstroke with your thumb or however you want to strum. I'm um, just at the start of each chord. Start there until you've got the rhythm and the lyrics on top of it. Um, and then you can start to explore some more rhythmic options. So you can always add more downstrokes and that lines up with the heartbeat of our song on those four beats. So one, two, three, four. Ain't gonna work on the railroad. Okay, and so you can just keep that up to add a little more rhythm. From there, um, I'm actually going to give you our bluegrass strumming pattern first, and then I'll give you a simpler option if um, so you can decide which one you want to try and you can also mix and match. So option number two, we're going to do down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay, and that's going to happen twice per measure. Okay, and that's where the counting is really helpful. Um, so it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Of course, 
you can slow that way down, go through the whole thing. I would practice this separate before you add in the vocals. And this is also just a great strumming pattern to know and to practice. Um, and it's got that kind of bluegrass, um, bluegrass feel to it. That's where you're going, okay? <laughs> um, and of course, take it as slow as you need to, and then you can build up speed over time. Let's try a little bit of the strumming pattern on the chorus. I'm gonna slow it down, don't worry. How about there? Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Here we go. One, two, Strumming pattern option number three. I'm gonna give you a variation on that that might be a little bit simpler. Um, and that's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. lines up with a lot of the lyrics. I ain't gonna work on the farm. Gonna lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. All right, I like this variation because um, one, it really weaves in with the lyrics. Um, it still sounds like a bluegrass pattern, but it's a little bit simpler than the down, down, up, down, up, down, down. So if you're not quite there yet, this is a nice variation. And of course, to add contour to your song, you can mix and match these strumming patterns throughout the song. You don't really want to do the same. Right? It'd be a, a Mac trek the whole song the whole way through. Um, you can add some contour, like one verse you might work on the railroad. Maybe the verse about uh, jail. <laughs> Where were you last Friday night when I was lying in jail out walking the streets with another man you wouldn't even go my bail. Rolling my seat. And then when you amp it up on the chorus, that's when you can go to the more um, exciting, if you will, strumming pattern. So have fun mixing and matching, getting really creative. You can write it in your music. Um, let me know what you try. All right, y'all, let's talk starting pitch. So if you're singing this song, I'm gonna show you how to find your note on your ukulele. So we're in the key of C. That means C is our home base. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Or we can put numbers on the scale instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, so that's just showing our major scale that goes with our key. Now we are starting the melody on the third of that major scale, so that's an E. Do, re, mi. So you can play your open E string to find that pitch. Do, re, mi, or one, two, three. So that's the third note of the scale, or the third. I ain't gonna work on the railroad. So that's it for the verse. Um, and same for the chorus. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll, and the second roll starts on, uh, 
on the C or one. And also just a note about this song, if um, you are interested in starting to learn how to harmonize, this is an awesome song and bluegrass in general is great for that. And when you check out these different versions, you'll hear a ton of fun harmonization. Um, so I'm presenting the main melody of this, but then when you listen to it, you might hear the, the higher harmonies pop out and they're so fun to both sing and to listen to. It's just like total ear candy and just like so much fun, especially to do with other people. So go find a friend, teach them the chorus of this and y'all be singing harmonies in no time. On that note, it's time for our wine break. So I want to say cheers to you. Thank you so much for being here, for learning this song with me um, here on Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. If you're finding, whew, <laughs> if you're finding this tutorial helpful, um, please cheers the like button below. And I hope you subscribe for more ukulele resources for beginners and intermediate players. Um, I have lots of different practice resources on there. I have a new five minute practice exercise series um, that I'm really excited about, so check that out. And also wanted to say, if you're interested in learning more about bluegrass, um, I am not <laughs> the expert on that. However, um, Michael Daves, who I mentioned earlier as uh, an artist to listen to for this song, um, he's an incredible source of knowledge on bluegrass history and vocals and guitar playing. I was fortunate enough to take a class with him um, when I was living in Brooklyn. So I got to do like a five week or six week um, in-person class with Michael Daves. It was on bluegrass mandolin and I learned so much with him and just had so much fun being around him and just being able to play with him. Um, so if you're interested, check that out if you're ever in if you're in New York or if you have the opportunity it would be amazing to um, either see him play live or take a class with him so check out Michael Daves cheers Michael Daves thank you <laughs> and once again thank you for being here I think it's time for our full song run through so make sure you're in tune and our form is going to be a verse chorus verse chorus verse Chorus. Should we do all the verses? There's one, two, three. There's four verses. Let's see. No, let's do all the let's do all the verses. Okay. So there's four verses. Let's do all of them. Um, we'll try out some of those different strumming patterns. Don't feel like you have to match what I'm doing for this strumming pattern. Um, it's just us playing together, so you can play along with me. You do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. We'll see what happens at the end. Um, and then for the ending, let's see, for our intro, let's just play a C chord. Here we go. All right, that'll be our intro. And then ending, watch me for the ending. We'll see what happens. Okay, ready? A little slower than that, I think. How about there? One, two, three. For intro. Here we go. I gotta work on the road. I gotta work on the farm. Gonna lay around the shed till the mail train comes back and rolling my sweet baby's arms. Rolling my sweet.
have to live over again I never show my face anymore out a little faster um how'd y'all do i decided to also um add some more texture there to that last verse so all i was doing there i was playing the chord and then i was just lightly so i'm not even pushing the strings down with my left hand i'm literally just touching the strings you can experiment with that and just kind of explore that sound it's like a nice rhythmic sound there so i play the chord and then cover the sound. There's my dog. <laughs> he had something to say about that. Uh, where were you last Friday night? And you can literally do whatever you want on the strings. You can keep up the down, down. Friday night. The, sa the same down, down, down. Or try something else. Um, so that's another texture for you to try out. Thank you so much for joining me to learn this bluegrass standard roll in my sweet baby's arms. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, my name is Catherine. This is Ukulele Wine Time. Cheers. Until next time. Ukulele Wine Time. Here are the three chords you'll need for this song and how to play them. The first chord is C major. Okay. So this um, our ukulele finger numbers, one, two, three, four. So our third finger is our ring finger. We're gonna need that on the third fret. One, two, three. Of your A string, string closest to the floor, pushing all the way down to the wood. That is your C major chord, okay? Next up, we need an F chord. So these two fingers up here, um, and you can kind of start thinking ahead. You, you're going to want all of your fingers nice and curved available on the fretboard, right? So that you can transition easily between your chords. So we say peace sign fingers. Your middle finger or your second finger is going to go on the second fret on your top string closest to your face. That's your G string. Skip a string. First finger, first fret of your E string. Other strings are open. That's your F chord. Okay, and again, you're pushing all the way down to the wood. Okay, and then from here, this is a good transition to, to take a look at. You're always wanting to think about what's the easiest way I can transition between chords, at least amount of work for my fingers. Um, so this finger stays put, your first finger, and then this finger, your middle finger, is gonna move over one string to your C string. And then your ring finger is going to go on that same fret, so this is the second fret, on your A string. It makes a triangle with the point at the top here, <clears throat> excuse me, on your fretboard. That is your G7 chord. Okay, and I mentioned at the beginning too, if you just have a G chord, um, which is kind of the triangle flipped upside down, G works just as fine. The 7 just gives it that little extra... That's the flat seven of your, that's a dominant chord. It gives it a, a different, a little bit different character, but it still uh, has that G major triad in there. 
Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy playing this song. Bye. Ukulele wine time.